Um, bottom line, fear is not a good leadership strategy. Fear is not a good way to manage. Fear is not a good way to be a team. It's not a good way to be together professionally in organizations. Um, and so, gosh, I hope we can just set our, this notion aside that um, scaring people into good behavior, scaring people into telling about a problem to be solved, scaring people into offering ideas and solutions, doesn't that just sound silly to even say that? Like, who of us is going to do our best work? Who of us is going to engage in lean and continuous improvement if we're scared? decrease fear in the workplace, the thing that we increase, the thing that takes its place, that floods in, is love. It's love. Fear and love are these two primary human experiences that we have. All the good comes from love, all the negative comes from fear. And uh, I came to really believe that. And then at this very lean conference in a breakout session said that out loud. He, Chris said, you know, we need to decrease fear. It's my job as a leader to decrease fear. And, and I said, oh, by the way, when he does that, we're going to create more love. And like, you could have heard a pin drop, right? <laughs> kind of got uncomfortable because we don't talk about love in the workplace. So this loving human workplace is a workplace that creates psychological safety. And that is this necessary underpinnings for all other performance factors that we experience. If we want to improve government, if we want to apply lean thinking and practices, if we want to you know, create better value, improve safety, cost, time, quality, any of that, if we want to do that, it all starts with creating psychological safety by loving and caring for people, by decreasing fear and increasing love in the workplace. that often comes up and it's this, can we really get results and care for people? Is it really possible to get results and care for people? And what I would offer is that that's the wrong question, that's like the wrong frame, the wrong way to think about this. And that the better question is how on earth are we going to get results if we don't care for people?